What did I say? What did I say on Thursday night? What did I say during the corner post? The NRL referees, please don't fuck the finals up. What did I say on Thursday night? Well, I hate to say it, but I was absolutely correct. And this is something I hate being right about because we just saw the elimination final between the Parramatta Eels and the Newcastle Knights up there at Rockhampton at Brown Park. Parramatta Eels 22, Newcastle Knights 20. Four minutes to go. Will Panasini gets a penalty try. And it's controversial. And it should not have fucking happened. And look, Parramatta for mine, they were the better team the whole game. They deserved the win. But let me just say this. When there's four minutes to go, the game's in the balance. 22-20. Power have the lead. A penalty try like that to decide a sudden death elimination final game is absolutely fucking disgraceful. And I said on Thursday night when I did the corner post, someone's going to get robbed in the finals. It's going to happen. It was just a matter of time. The first three games, Melbourne Manly, no robbery. Uh, Roosters versus Titans, no robbery. Penrith versus South, no robbery. And it happened in this game today. The penalty try for Will Penasini was an absolute disgrace. Now, before everyone in the chat goes absolutely berserk and has their two cents on the penalty try, the penalty try should never have happened because, because Clint Gutherson knocked the ball on. Gutherson dropped the fucking ball. There was no intention of a drop kick there. He had the ball. It hit the ground first. Then he kicked it. A lot of people on social media are trying to say it's a drop kick. That's not a fucking drop kick at all. There was a game a couple weeks ago. Um, I think it might have been the last round of the regular season. might have been last week. Someone Actually, it might have been the Broncos and Knights game. Jack Clifford knocked the ball on. And his intention wasn't to kick the ball. But the ball hit his foot. And the referee deemed that to be a knock-on because it wasn't an intentional kick. You can't tell me that Clint Gutherson's... You can't tell me that was a kick. That was a blatant knock-on. Now, whether Newcastle had it scored in the last three minutes remains to be seen. But the problem is the Newcastle Knights were denied an opportunity to have a chance to win the game in the last three minutes. And everyone's going to say in the chat, Oh, but... Who, Newcastle wouldn't have scored. It, it was already over. They couldn't have done it. What about last night in the Roosters Titans game? Roosters had a lead, 25 24. No one saw the Titans running 100 metres in the final minute. Who saw that coming? Who's to say Newcastle couldn't do the same thing? It's an absolute disgrace. And um, if you're a Newcastle Knights supporter out there, you have every right to be upset and very angry because I feel they were quite dudded today. You know, for 77 minutes, Parramatta were the better side. But that that um, that penalty try was an absolute disgrace. If the Victor Radley penalty try against the Titans last night was was not going to be a penalty try, then how the fuck is the Will Panasini one a penalty try? It's an absolute disgrace. The bunker got it wrong. They should be sacked. And nothing will come of it. Well, Graham Anderson will come out tomorrow and probably apologise for it. But that would be it. But, you know, it's a disgrace, and I feel sorry for Newcastle. I feel they were really fucked over in the last five minutes of that game. It was an absolute disgrace, and um, Parramatta, very lucky to get the win. But let's get into the review, guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video. Comment your thoughts on the game. It was a great game of footy, but the last four minutes ruined it for me. And make sure you guys go ahead and share the video around to, to your mates as well so they can enjoy it. But let's get into the Eels Knights Elimination Final Football Review. So... The game starts off, Parramatta kick off out in the full. Terrible start for the Eels. And then, in the second minute, Newcastle start the game brilliantly. Caelan Pong with a cutout ball to Anari Tawala. He goes over in the corner for the first try of the game. Great start for the Newcastle Knights. Knights 4-0 after two minutes. And then, um, in the ninth minute, the Eels with a, with a pretty simple block play on the right-hand side. Nathan Brown to Dylan Brown to Gutherson to Wagga Blake. Walker Blake goes in and scores for the Eels. 
Nice try there from Wagga Blake. Parramatta, six. Newcastle, four. Really good start. Really good hit back from Parramatta after a fairly um, a fairly slow start there for the Eels. And then after that, sorry, my fucking phone started to play up with my notes here. 16th minute, Sawas is sued with a very dangerous tackle on Blake Ferguson. He twisted his ankle. I thought it was quite bad. Very disgusting. Sawas is is on report for it. I think he might get a week for it. He twisted Ferguson's ankle. It looked really, really bad. I think Adam O'Brien benched him after that. So... No surprise there. But then in the 24th minute, the Knights go to the right-hand side for Mitchell Pierce to Jake Clifford. Quick tap on there. It was touched by Hayes Dunster. And Homer Hunt goes through and scores. Pretty soft try. Newcastle 10-6 after 24 minutes gone. 35th minute. This is where Parramatta got, um, really got going here. 35th minute. Um, Mitchell Moses with a right foot step. Beats David Clement for speed. Beats Carlin Pongin for speed. Goes for himself and scores. Great individual try there from Mitchell Moses. Very good play there from him. Parramatta 12-10. And at, at half time, it looks like it's going to be 12-10. But then Parramatta go down the other... Parramatta go for it again. They they get down there. Coverson to Will Panasini. Offloads it to Blake Ferguson. Ferguson scores over there in the corner. When I first watched it, I thought the pass might have been a little bit forward from Panasini, But the touch charge reckons it's all good. So half time... Parramatta lead Newcastle 16 points to 10. Newcastle were playing really well in the first half, but Parramatta's last four minutes of that of that um, of that first half was very 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 vital for them. They were, they did well there. Second half though, 48th minute, Parramatta go to the go to the right hand side once again. Mitchell Moses, beautiful ball to Blake Ferguson. He collects a double, great ball from Moses. Parramatta 22 points to 10, and then. Everyone thinks Newcastle's gone, but then they show some guts. They fight back to the Newcastle Knights. 52nd minute. Jack Clifford with a grubber kick for Anari Tawala. He gets his second try of the game. Nice play from Jake Clifford. Parramatta, 22 points to 16 lead. And, and then in the 57th minute, Kalen Ponga again. Another cutout ball to Anari Tawala. Blake Ferguson got jammed in. Anari Tawala gets his third try of the game. He collects a hat trick. Um. Clifford misses the conversion, which was pretty crucial. Parramatta 22-20. And then off the kickoff, Mitchell Pierce knocks the bloody ball on. And then the controversial moment. I'm gonna, now, I'll, I'll write this down as well. I had to write this down. So I came prepared. 76 minute. Coverson, he puts a kick in. Apparently, he drops. I thought he dropped, I thought he dropped the ball. He, the referee claims he kicks it. So they play on. And Abu Tawala tackles Will Panasini without the ball. The bunker goes upstairs. They look at it. They completely ignore the Gufferson dodgy knock-on slash kick. They don't even look at it. Anyway, they play on. They look at it. And because Will Panasini is in front of the ball, and they reckon Pong has overran his line past the ball, they believe Will Panasini would have scored the try. Who's to say he wouldn't have dropped it when he picked the ball up? Last night, Victor Radley was denied the same thing. Brian uh, Tyrone Peachy went to the sin bin for it, and it was fair game. I would have been okay for a professional foul, but here's the thing. Go back to where it all started. Gufferson dropped the ball. Gufferson did not kick the ball. He dropped the ball. They completely ignore that. They reckon Panasini would have scored the try. It was an absolute disgrace. The bunker gives the penalty try. I haven't seen the press comments from Manabai Bryan. He is going to probably unload on the bunker. And if he does, fair play to him. But it was such a great game of football to be finished, to be ended by such a controversial decision. The penalty try is awarded. Parramatta win the game 28 points to 20. It should have been at 22-20. Newcastle should have had the ball and they would have had to go 80 metres with about three minutes to go. Four minutes to go, actually. Anyone's game. They can still do it. But ends in controversial fashion and Parramatta win the game. and It's just it's just disgraceful. It really is, you know. For an elimination final to end like that, it just it puts a sour taste in your mouth. And to all the people that attended the game at Rockhampton, that they would have loved the game for 75 minutes, and a lot of them would have left the game really upset tonight because 
of how the game ended. You know, we talk about, you know, having big crowds and making the game great for the fans. Well, how can you make the game great for the fans who attend the game and have it to end like that in a disgusting decision? So, you know, people go to work all week. They, they bust their ass off at their job. They pay their hard-earned money to go to the footy, enjoy their team. But they feel like they've lost their money and they feel really angry and disappointed when they leave the, when they leave the venue because of a bad decision like that. So... I'm disappointed because it was a great game of footy. It was one of the best games of the round. But Newcastle Knights are out now because of a bad call. Parramatta advance. They play Penrith next week. And I think you'll be hearing a lot about this the next over the coming days in the media. Parramatta win 28-20. If I had a one, it should have been 22-20. But controversial finish. And the Eels, they, they get the win. But let's go through some of the great players from tonight's game. We'll, we'll go through the players. So... Calverson at fullback, I thought he was terrible today. I don't think he played well at all. I thought he was quite average. I know his stats look good, but I thought he was ordinary, to be honest. I thought Dunster was good. Ferguson had a great game. Uh, I thought the Paramount Centers were good. Uh, Will Panasini and Wagga Blake had a good game. Dylan Brown was all right. Mitchell Moses, I thought he was outstanding. Mitchell Moses, I thought he had an outstanding game t this afternoon. I thought Regan Campbell-Gillard was great. Junior Paul, I looked okay. Ray Stone was, was, was average. Defensively, he was okay. Attack-wise, terrible. Uh, Sean Lane was okay. Morata Niakore was solid. Nathan Brown looked a bit injured. I hope he's all right. They will need him next week for sure. Uh, Will Smith did an okay job off the bench. Isaiah Papalee, it was great off the bench. Makatoa was all right. Cartwright was a bit of a mixed bag. He didn't do a whole lot. As for the Newcastle Knights, I thought Caelan Fong had played great. You know, he had about two or three try assists today. thought he had a great game. I thought he, um, under the high ball, I thought he was great. I thought Navi Tawala was outstanding. Heimel Hunt was good. Kurt Mann was average. Bradman Best had a good game. Clifford was good. Pierce had an average game. He was a bit disappointing, but, um, yeah, not the worst game for Mitchell Pierce, but he was a bit off in that second half. Um, I thought Jacob Saifedi was a bit quiet. I thought uh, Jaden Bradley was quiet as well. Daniel Saifedi had a really good game. Uh, Tyson Frizzell, absolutely gutsy performance. I thought he wasn't going to come back after that HIA he had. Came back on. He was he, he was busted, but gee, he played gutsy today. Frizzell, I thought he was great. Barnett was all right. Probably could have done a bit more for mine. Sebastian Sue, a uh, bit of a dirty grubber. I thought he was a bit of a dickhead today. Connor Watson was all right. David Clemmer had a great game, great game off the bench. Josh King was all right, and Brody Jones was... He didn't play much, but he was okay as well. Good game of footy. Ruined by a bad finish, a bad call at the end. Eels win. They will play Penrith next Saturday night, the Western Derby. The winner of that will play Melbourne in the preliminary final. As for Newcastle, well, they're done for the year. And I, I I'm looking forward to seeing what the press conference is about. But uh, Parramatta win. Um, my top three players on ground from the game, though. Number three... I'm going to go with um, number three. I'm, I'm going to go with Tyson Frizzell. Thought he was gutsy out there today, Frizzell. I'll give him number three, Tyson Frizzell. Number two, I'm going to give it to Regan Campbell Gillard. I thought he was outstanding. And number one, my man, the match. I'm going to give it to Mitchell Moses. I thought he had a really good game today, Mitchell Moses. His kicking game was great. That individual try score was great as well. Moses, Moses is my man, the match. Eels get the win, controversial fashion. Guys, that's it for the review. If you enjoyed it, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.